The movie begins during the 18th century in France. Three girls named Helene, Bridget, and Anne prepare to go to a party that some of their schoolboys are organizing. When they get there, a guy named Gaspard approaches Anne to introduce himself and suspects he's only interested in her body. So she walks out on him and goes to speak to her friend, Jean. She tells him about how some of the ladies there think she's a sensual woman. In literature class, the lecturer, Professor Bornick, asks Anne to describe the poem they are studying, which she does perfectly. After class, Bridget and Anne express their fear of the upcoming exams, but Anne promises to help them study. When Anne gets home, she realizes that she hasn't gotten her period for three weeks and gets worried. She travels home to see her mom, Gabrielle, and heads to her bar. At the bar, Gabrielle complains that she looks pale and tells her she's running a fever. She soon returns to the dormitory and goes to see her gynecologist, Dr. Ravinsky. She denies ever having made love with a man, but he tells her she's pregnant. She tells him to do something about her situation, but he tells her he can be jailed for that and warns her that she can lose her life in the process. Over time, she starts to eat a lot and develops weird food cravings. Her cravings and eating habits even lead her to take some of the food of a fellow student. When the student asks her about it, she tells her she has no idea. In the fourth week of her pregnancy, she goes to see another doctor named Gamet. She tells him her pregnancy would stop her from continuing her studies and hints that she needs his help. When he realizes what she's asking him to do, he tells her to leave. When she refuses, he prescribes a pill that will help with her situation. Later during class, Anne finds out that some of the girls in her class named Celine and Olivia have hidden a sensual picture in her novel to make her angry. Bridget advises her to ignore it so as not to cause a scene. At the hostel, Bridget tells them she always stole sensual pictures from her brother when she was younger, and she learned a lot even though she's never made love. She shows them how she used to pleasure herself with a pillow and reaches the peak of pleasure right before their eyes. By the fifth week, Anne's body starts to show major signs, and she starts vomiting. On the football court, Gaspard, who had approached Han at the party, gets hurt. Bridget tends to him, and he flirts with her. After he leaves, the girls discuss how easy it is to select the wrong man and get pregnant, and tells them there are methods to remove it in such a situation. But they tell her not to joke about such things. In class, Anne keeps looking at Jean, and he wonders why she's staring at him. After class, he approaches her, and she tells him about her situation. When she asks him if he knows someone who successfully removed a baby, he walks away from her and tells her to leave him alone. When she insists, he lets her follow him home. At his house, he asks her about the man who got her pregnant, and she tells him he's an out-of-town student that she met in a bookstore. He asks her if the boy knows about her situation, but she says she hasn't told him. He starts to ask personal questions about how good it felt, but she tells him it's none of his business. He tells her he didn't expect her to do such a thing, but she says it only happened once. He tries to make out with her since there's no risk of her getting pregnant again, but she angrily leaves the house. In the dormitory bathroom, Celine and Olivia approach her and say they think she has syphilis. They accuse her of being an escort, but she storms out angrily. She heads to her room and starts to cry. In the seventh week, their exam results are released, but it turns out that Anne failed. After class, Professor Bornick asks her what the problem is since she's been doing well in her studies before this exam, but she doesn't say anything. He tries to find out if she's going through anything, but she remains mute, and he tells her to try to improve her grades. Out of frustration, Anne goes to a bar and gets tipsy. Gaspard comes to take her for a walk, but Bridget and Jean stop him. Anne goes home sad, and her friends ask what's wrong with her. When she tells them she is pregnant and intends to take it out, Bridget tells her to do as she likes but tells her they won't be a part of it since they can't go to jail with her. The next day, Anne calls the boy who got her pregnant, Maxime, to inform him she's pregnant. On the call, she assures him she won't be keeping it. When she heads home, Gabrielle notices that she's very irritated but doesn't know why. When they talk about her examination, Anne rudely asks her what she knows about examinations. They get into an argument, and her mom slaps her so hard even the baby said ouch. Late at night, when she's alone in her room, she tries to destroy the fetus using a hotel metal rod. She pushes the metal through her opening and endures excruciating pain. When she returns to see Dr. Avinsky, she tells him he left her no choice but to do what she did. He tells her he doesn't approve of what she did, but he understands she did it because she wanted to continue with her life. She tells him she'd like to have a child in the future, but she doesn't want to have the child at the expense of her life, so she doesn't resent the child. When he examines her, he tells her all she did was scratch the membrane, 
and the baby is still alive because the drug Dr. Gimet prescribed was actually to strengthen the embryo. He tells her there's nothing she can do about it, and she starts to cry. In the ninth week, she goes to see Maxime, and he seems very excited to see her. When she tells him she was unable to find a solution to the problem, he becomes very withdrawn. He asks her how long she's been pregnant and if it's too late to find a solution. When they head out, Anne gets uncomfortable and heads into the water. That night, he tells her he wouldn't have let her come visit him if she had told him she was still pregnant. She angrily packs her stuff and leaves. By the tenth week, Anne keeps getting distracted in class, and Professor Bornick tells her she may not make it to university. That night, Jean comes to meet her, and he takes her to a friend of his named Letitia, who can help her. Letitia tells her about a nurse named Miss Riviere who helped her. She tells her that she didn't end up in a hospital after the procedure, even though it was very painful. Letitia tells her that if she ends up in a hospital, it could either be labeled as a miscarriage or as a forceful removal procedure, which could get her imprisoned. The next day, Anne sells most of her stuff to raise money for the procedure. When she raises enough money, she calls Miss Riviere and books an appointment. At night, she heads to the bar and runs into Gaspard. He asks her why she looks disturbed, and they soon leave the bar together. At his home, they both make love. When she gets back to the hostel, Helene confesses that she got into a relationship with a man last summer. She explains how she was ashamed of herself, but the desire was stronger, and the only reason she didn't get pregnant was just pure luck. Helene sympathizes with her situation and hopes she finds a solution, and heads home to be with her family. During dinner, she stares at her parents in amusement and is glad to find them happy. Before she leaves, she hugs her mother more tightly than she ever has. In the twelfth week, Anne goes to see Miss Riviere for her appointment. When she gets there, Miss Riviere asks her to undress, and they commence the procedure immediately. Miss Riviere tells her that the embryo has gotten very strong but the procedure is still possible. She asks her if she bled a lot when she lost her virginity, and Anne says she did. Miss Riviere tells her not to make any noise or shout during the procedure, or she'll stop it because the walls are thin. When Miss Riviere begins the procedure, Anne feels a great deal of pain but does her best to conceal it. After she's done, Miss Riviere tells her she'll slowly start to bleed in 24 hours, and then the baby will come out. When she gets home, she keeps checking her underwear, but doesn't find any blood. She heads to school to meet Professor Bornick to ask for the last lectures so she can study for the exam. He asks her why she's suddenly interested, and she tells him she was ill before. He asks her if she still wants to become a professor like him, but she says she intends to become a writer. At home, and physically exerts herself to get the blood flowing, but nothing happens. She goes to meet Miss Riviere to tell her the procedure didn't work. Miss Riviere tells her there's nothing to do again because there is a great risk of complications if they do it again, but Anne says she can bear the risk. After the procedure, she struggles to get to her front door. Late at night, she starts to roll around in her bed due to the pain. Olivia finds her in anguish, but Anne asks her not to tell anyone. When she feels the baby coming, she runs to the bathroom, and it drops into the toilet. She asks Olivia to get the scissors from her room and help her cut the umbilical cord. Olivia helps her to her room, but Anne starts to bleed profusely. Olivia tries to go get a doctor, but Anne tells her not to. When Anne loses consciousness, Olivia hurries to get some help. Soon, the medics arrive, and Anne is taken through the hostel hall on a stretcher. At the hospital, the doctor labels it a miscarriage. Months later, Anne heads back to school to write her final exams. The doctor at the end who labeled it a miscarriage really helped her out. Anne would have been imprisoned. It's crazy to think that this type of situation can actually happen in the United States right now with Roe v. Wade being overturned. Getting an abortion is now a crime in multiple states, and it's a crime to also help anyone receive an abortion. What are your guys' stance on abortion and what did you guys think of this movie? Subscribe for more videos like this. Turn on notifications and leave a like. It really helps the channel.